Lyra and the old man Father Coram are going to have a conversation with a bear. Dim light through the rear window of the bar showed a vast pale form crouching upright and gnawing at the haunch of meat which it held in both hands. Lyra had the impression of blood-stained muzzle and face, small malevolent black eyes, and an immensity of dirty matted yellowish fur. Father Coram stood by the gate and called, Yarek Bernison, may I speak with you? Lyra's heart was thumping hard because something in the bear's presence made her feel close to coldness, danger, brutal power. This strange hulking presence gnawing its meat was like nothing she'd ever imagined and she felt a profound admiration and pity for the lonely creature. The bear dropped the reindeer leg in the dirt and reared up massively ten feet or more high. Well, who are you? I'm Father Coram from the Egyptian people of Eastern Anglia. And this little gal is Lyra Balakwa. What do you want? We want to offer you employment, Yorick Bernison. I am employed at the Sledge Depot. I mend broken machinery and articles of iron. I lift heavy objects. What kind of work is that for an armored bear? Paid work. Behind the bear, the door of the bar opened a little way and a man put down a large earthenware jar before looking up to peer at them. Who's that? Strangers, said the bear. The bartender shut the door. The bear hooked a claw through the handle of the jar and lifted it to his mouth. Lyra could smell the tang of the raw spirits that splashed out. After swallowing several times, the bear spoke again. What work are you offering? Fighting, in all probability, said Father Coram. We're moving north until we find a place where they've taken some children captive. When we find it, we'll have to fight to get the children free, and then we'll bring them back. And what will you pay? I don't know what to offer you, Yorick Bernison. If gold is desirable to you, we have gold. No good. The bear lifted the jar to his muzzle again, drinking the powerful spirits like water. Forgive me for asking, Yorick Bernison, said Father Coram, but you could live a free, proud life on the ice, hunting seals and walruses, or you could go to war and win great prizes. What ties you here to Trollesund and Ineson's bar? Lyra felt her skin shiver all over. She would have thought a question like that, which was almost an insult, would enrage the great creature, and she wondered at Father Coram's courage in asking it. Yorick Bernison put down his jar and came close to the gate to peer at the old man's face. Father Coram didn't flinch. I know the people you are seeking, the child cutters, the bear said. They left town the day before yesterday to go north with more children. Now I don't like the child cutters, so I shall answer you politely. I stay here because the men of this town gave me spirits and let me drink till I was asleep and then they took my armor away from me. And I am an armored bear. War is the sea I swim in and the air I breathe. If I knew where they keep my armor, I would tear down the town to get it back. If you want my service, the price is this. Get me back my armor. Do that and I shall serve you in your campaign. The price is my armor. I want it back, and then I shall never need spirits again. <laughs>